My interest in chemistry uh, came very early on. I think uh, the movies in which uh, scientists uh, with bubbling containers and uh, things of this nature always seemed to have the answers when, when other people had problems and questions, and that appealed to me a lot. Now that doesn't sound like much if you remember that a lot of... The implementation of technology in my teaching began when I was put into a very large classroom. There were 300 or more students and I can't use the techniques that I used in a classroom of 20 to 30 students in a class of 300. So I began to explore, first of all, things like PowerPoint. PowerPoint enabled you to get the message across, but they didn't allow you to see okay, how well students were receiving it. Correct. You didn't get feedback. And reaction. that feedback meant that I had solved only half of the problem that you can get into a small classroom. When the radio frequency technology for clickers became readily available and worked very well, uh, it became possible to basically see what every student in the class was thinking, what they were getting out of what you were saying. Let's see. See if we've got it close. The clickers have improved my class primarily because they tell me how the students are absorbing the information. I can tell very easily with strategic questions whether or not they've read the assignment, uh, whether or not they've understood what I have just tried uh, to explain. Well, this is a stopper. Okay. Whenever you look at uh, how clickers um, have added to my workload, they have increased uh, the initial preparation a little bit. I use PowerPoints and one of the techniques that I use is to put a slide in in the PowerPoint uh, that says uh, to right answer the question you with your clicker and it has a number there but and that number cues me as to what question I have thought about asking at that point in the lecture. Give you a couple of extra seconds to think about this. But you can use it for dating anything within that 50,000 years. The technology uh, in my hands is mostly useful to me because of the feedback it, it gives me about how the lecture content is being absorbed and understood by the students. And matching the probable age of the material to within 10 half-lives of the radioactive isotope. Those are your choices. Challenges that I've faced with uh, teaching with the clickers is trying to resolve the conundrum that every teacher faces but isn't always aware that they're facing and that is um, uh, you've explained something you think very clearly and the students are nodding like they sort of understand it and or they do understand it. You don't get a lot of feedback from students. They sort of learn to keep this uh, uh, poker face out there so you, you don't get facial expressions that indicate whether they're having a lot of trouble or not. So what I have found is, is that we're all required to maintain a schedule according to a syllabus so that we cover the required material in the course. When you've finished explaining an area that is somewhat difficult and you poll the students by means of the clicker technology and you find out that they really have gone completely over their head and you're already worried about whether or not you're going to be able to maintain your schedule, what do you do? Do you take the time to go back and explain it carefully again and try to bring the students up to speed or do you uh, uh, press on and stay on schedule. If you omit something or you press on without the students understanding it, it's sort of like uh, building a house with part of the foundation missing. Um, something's going to happen later on that's going to impact uh, everything that you built on top of that. 
So a number of other uh, classes may be using this. So this implementing other technologies is um, something that I've looked at. For example, uh, the university does have available Blackboard. And the clicker technology has become compatible where the software works within Blackboard. I have made some tentative beginnings to incorporate uh, uh, Blackboard uh, clickers and, uh, of course, my PowerPoint presentations and my own individual website, which is at one time uh, better than Blackboard. But I can't say that anymore because Blackboard just has so many capabilities and so much of the workload of maintaining that website is now handled by the university infrastructure that it's beginning to be uh, work intensive to maintain what I'm maintaining on my own rather than allowing the university to provide the uh, capability through Blackboard and have it come up automatically. So that's probably my next step is to implement Blackboard in terms of enhanced technology beyond the clickers. At that point, I don't know what's next. Uh, I can't really see the future.